Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I will show you how you can get or extract IPF files for your iOS apps from your iPhone or iPad or just directly from the App Store without a jailbreak. And the apps or the IPAs for your apps which you get are bound to your own Apple ID so it is okay to do so. And I will also show you how you can easily install them back to your device. So you can use this method if you want to backup an app with a specific version and install it later. This video is for educational purposes only. So please use it responsibly. For this method, we will be using iMazing, which is offered for free with the limited features. And if you want more features, you can definitely buy it. But for this video, for this method, using the free version is enough. It gets our job done. So please head to its official website and get it from here. Once you get it, please install it. Also to use it, please get iTunes from the official website from Apple. All right and simply get it for windows and install it so to install the apps back to your device you can use side loadly which is also completely free you can visit its official website and simply install it from here to your windows pc now to begin simply open iMazing and connect your ios device via usb and it will show up right here simply tap it and select it and then your device should show up here with all the details. Now hit manage apps. Now here, please sign in with your own Apple ID. All right. Simply put in your Apple ID and password and hit sign in. So I would quickly do it first. Now guys, after waiting a few seconds, you will see all the apps installed to your device. All right. Now to get the IPA for your apps, simply head to library and it will list all the apps that you have previously installed using this Apple ID. All right. If they are not showing up for you, you can hit add from purchase history button and they will show up here. So if you want the IPA for these apps, you can simply right click and then hit export IPA and then select where you want to drop the IPA. All right, and then hit OK. And you can see it right here. Now guys, if for an app, the export IPA button is grayed out, you can simply hit this download button and wait for it to download. Once downloaded, you can easily extract it, simply right click and then export IPA, just like you did before. And you can see it right here that it indeed worked just fine. Now, if you want to get IPA files for your apps directly from the App Store, it is easy. Simply hit Add from App Store button. Simply type the app you want to get the IPA for and press Enter and then hit this Download button. Then hit Done and wait for the download to finish. Now the app should show in the library. If it is not showing up already, please go to Overview and then go to manage apps and the app will show up here in the library now you can simply right click and then export ipa select the path and hit ok and you can see it showed up it worked fine now from the library you also have the option to install an app directly to your device so for example i have this iZip and you can see the app is now being installed onto my device directly and you can see it is showing up here on the home screen you can also import an ipa if it is lying on your computer and you want to get it to your device so simply right click anywhere on any app and then hit import ipa now guys if you want to install the extracted ipa files for your ios app back to your device which are bound to your apple id you can use side loadly and simply connect your device to it via usb then select advanced options and then 
hit normal install all right do not choose apple id side load this time for this purpose all right once normal install is selected hit advanced option again all right and then simply drag and drop the ipa to side loadly and then hit start and in a moment the app should show on my home screen on this device installing you will see done here and the app will show up on your device without any error now we can open it and you can see it opens up just fine without any problem so no problem whatsoever if you see a message box asking you to put up your username and password for your apple id when you open an app please put the apple id and password for the same apple id you use to extract the ipa files and it should work that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself